clamp in Unreal Engine materials. In this video, I'm gonna explain what it is, what it's used for, and how we can use it in our materials. So let's do it. I've created a master material with all the functions necessary for your projects. You can download it for free on my website. Link in the description below. We have a linear gradient that runs through a clamp before connecting to the base color and emissive color. What happens if I change the min and the max values? Interesting. Right click in the material graph and search for clamp. It has three inputs and one output. We have access to these inputs here in the details tab too. So what does it do? It limits a value between two other values. Whatever value we run through clamp will be constrained to a specified range. That range is defined by the minimum and maximum values here. For example, a minimum value of 0.2 and maximum value of 0.6 means that whatever value we input here, the output will never be less than 0.2 or more than 0.6. We can select the type of clamp to be used from here. CMOD clamp clamps both ends of the range, minimum and maximum. CMOD clamp min only clamps the minimum and CMOD clamp max only clamps the maximum. Let's set it back to CMOD clamp. Min default and max default taking the value to use as the minimum and as the maximum when clamping. These two will become disabled when we connect other nodes here. This section here adds a description in the material UI. Something to remember what this specific node does when the material becomes more complex. We can connect what we want to clamp here. These two values are the same as here in the details tab. We can also connect constants or scalars to use as the min and max values. However, if it comes to using nodes, I prefer scalars as I'll be able to edit them from the material instance. So how can we use clamp in our materials? But before getting to that, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. The links are in the description below. Now let's delete these nodes. Add two constant three vectors. Set them to blue and red. Add this noise texture from the starter content. Let's slurp between these two colors using the noise texture. But multiply the noise by 2 before connecting it to the alpha. Connect it to base color and emissive color. This is the result without clamp. This is the result with clamp. Without. With. These extra colors are because the noise texture is going beyond 1, because we multiplied it by a number higher than 1. So we're getting a color that is pushed beyond the boundaries we've set here in these two colors. It's an unexpected result that we try to avoid. When it's clamped to 1, the result is more accurate. Duplicate the material and open it. Delete all these nodes. Add a constant 3 vector set it to blue and connect it to base color and emissive color. Let's turn off the auto exposure from here. As I increase the B value here, the result becomes brighter and brighter. Let's say I don't want it to be brighter than 6 values. I'll add a clamp node here before the emissive input. Set the max value to 6. Now it doesn't matter how high I set this value. It always stops at 6. As a result, our material won't be too bright. Duplicate the material again. Open it and delete these nodes. Add a linear gradient connected to the base color and emissive color. Turn off the auto exposure from here. As you can see, it's a 0 to 1 or black to white gradient. Add a clamp node. Connect them like this. By default, it is set to a 0 to 1 range. 
so the result won't be any different. As I increase the minimum, it affects the black parts of the texture. It doesn't let anything go below this minimum value. Anything below the minimum value will become the minimum value. It's the same for the maximum value, but it's for the white values. It's not letting them go above the maximum value. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new tutorials I'm planning to put here. Also join our community on Telegram, Discord and Facebook. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Now with all of that being said, I'll see you in the next one.